A unique feature of this valve is the ability to rebuild from hygienic to aseptic, changing only the valve plug stem and bonnet. This video illustrates the rebuild of a shut-off valve, but the principle also applies for a changeover valve. Read the enclosed manual carefully before servicing the valve. Always be careful not to damage product wetted parts, and during service, always place dismantled parts on a clean surface. The tools shown here are those required for rebuilding the unique SSV valve into an aseptic version. Spanner size 10 for the clamp. Spanner size 17 for the plug. Spanner size 17 for counter-holding the actuator stem. A small screwdriver for releasing the air behind the plug seal if the plug is not ordered with the seal mounted. A rubber mallet for the composite bushing tool. For changeover versions, lubrication Paraleak GTE703, EPDM suitable, or similar lubricant, USDA H1. We recommend that you make a support for the valve to use during service. Place the new plug ceiling, mounting it crosswise to secure a perfect fit. Remember to release the compressed air behind the seal. Place the diaphragm and support disc and tighten the two valve stem parts. Use two spanners to firmly tighten the two parts. Place the composite bushing so that it snaps into position. If needed, use the composite bushing tool together with the rubber mallet and gently tap it into position. Mounted correctly, the composite bushing should stick out approximately one millimeter on the other side. Place the bonnet on the aseptic valve plug and connect the bonnet to the diaphragm. Be careful to ensure that the diaphragm mounts properly. Connect the plug assembly with the actuator and tighten. Use two size 17 spanners to tighten firmly. Place the actuator and plug assembly on the valve body and supply compressed air. Place and tighten the clamp. Release compressed air to the actuator. Activate the valve a couple of times to ensure correct functionality.